I wanted to share another junk journal that I made and give a little bit more detail on this one. So this might be a longer um, video. So I wanted to share some of the pieces that I made um, to create this journal. So you'll see that throughout this video as well. I used chipboard on this with some tissue and then I added some different acrylic paints to give it that leather look and then I also used a water glycerin mix to give it that soft feel and then here in the front that's actually real leather kind of a little bit of a contrast and then right here that is some canvas material that I used and then I hand wrote in memories and then I used some thread just to give it a little look to have it perforate a little on the top and some little flowers um, I use a bunch of um, pieces from this necklace that I bought. I just really like the necklace and I knew I was going to take it apart to create this journal. And then here's some beads from another necklace. Um, I used a different type of binding. I so prefer this binding better. I just like the way that the pages and the inside just hold together with it. So, And then I mentioned this in my other videos. I have these leather straps. I think I got them at Joanne. And I like them because they're easy to adjust as you add more to your um, scrapbook you can definitely adjust that accordingly and then here on the inside you can see how that leather from the front comes over and then on this page here um, what I did was um, the outside cover and the inside that's actually the text pages from the inside of the books I take apart and so I like to paint them and then I used a piece of junk mill in between to give it a sturdiness to it right here that's actually from a um, coaster. When I go to the restaurants, I always keep the coasters and part of the saying said is, what are you waiting for? Let me see. I, I think I have one of those coasters here. I do. Actually, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I made. And that's where it came from. And it's from the Outback. So I'm promoting the Outback. And I just like these. And you're going to see some of these coasters throughout this book. And then I also like to use um, manila folders. And um, sometimes at work, they're going to throw them away. And so I get um, different embossed folders I have and I add that to it and then I just get an ink pad and I just go over it to give it that look. In fact, here's some of those folders um, just from work and I don't like them to throw them away. So that I, sometimes I'm, I find all kinds of junk office supplies on my desk, which is okay. I like to use them. This is a price tag. I used a lot of price tags throughout this book and just to give you an idea, of how much I collect them. Here you go. Here are all the different price tags I have. I always like to save them. They have really neat thread on them or I could do different designs. So um, I always save everything. Just like to use them. Okay. Um, you're going to also notice here that I have this edging on each page. Um, Dillard's always has this first of the year 50% off sale of all of their Christmas items and throughout the store. So I go and I found this really cool ribbon. So I bought some and I'm including it on each of these pages. So it's kind of neat. This um, is, you can see, kind of a Paris theme. I think we all one day want to go to Paris. So I kind of added this. This doesn't have to be used for Paris. It's just a good theme. Here's one of those price tags that I mentioned. And then here is just a, a little, I don't know what that is, it's um, some kind of styrofoam thin that came in a package and then I added some chain from a necklace there and then on each of these I added a um, napkin around it to give it a different look and here's another piece of napkin and then I wanted to share with you some of the napkins I use. Um, I get these at Tuesday morning and I, you have to take out the plies, you want to make it single ply so I like to use these different cool napkins throughout the book and you'll, you'll probably see them as I go through it so and then it also leaves it a really cool texture. I like the texture. So, And then here I bought some ribbon. It's a little whimsical, so added that. And then I, there's another napkin that I like to use, and it comes from Maggiano's. And, and the texture on this is so much nicer than a regular just paper towel. It just has a really nice feel to it. It almost feels like cloth. So I get these, and then I stain them. And then I add them throughout the book. In fact, this is one of them, and it feels really good. And then I just use a sewing machine and kind of did a little edging there. I've been using my sewing machine. I just like the way that looks. And then this is just a card. And where I was working, we had thank you cards. And they would throw them away because it was missing some of the verbiage. So I just kept them, and I have a whole stack of them. And then I use those and just somehow paint the outside of it or use a napkin. Just make it really fun.
And then here's some more of those gems from that necklace, and that's a price tag right there. Okay, on this page here, there's one of those coasters I was talking about. I used napkin, and I got some gold paint and kind of put some on there and gave it that little shimmer. Here's some real leather, and then here's just a little um, embellishment. I have a lot of pieces that I make, and I don't use them, so I keep them, and that's one of them there. Here's that really cool... Uh, Maggiano's napkin again, and then I have some ribbon, and I put it around there. And then my sister gives me, um, she'll mail me some really fun stuff for the scrapbooking. And then here's some of those pieces. It's a lot of different areas, so you can add your photos. These also are from that manila folder, and then this is an embossed piece with um, some of these leaves, and I just cut them out individually and then just put them throughout this page. I always like to like places for you to write what the memory is or the page. So that, that's fun. And this side, same thing, places to write what this page is about. This is one of those um, manila envelopes again. In the inside, I cut it out and put it here. And I always use like paint or just ink pads and just go over the embossed piece. Um, you can probably tell all of these strips right here are from the ends of this. Um, they were the edging that I cut when I was fitting this book. And so I just added them on here. and. Um, to let you know, on, on on the piece that I put this on, this is just some junk mail. So, kind of recycled, so that's why it's a junk journal. And then I use my sewing machine around there. A little tab. So, places to add more photos. Okay. On this page, um, here's some more of that manila envelope. And then some embossed bird cages that I liked. Here's one of those envelopes. And then I put a napkin on it. Then this is actually a paper towel. And I use that to clean off my brushes, and I like the little design, so I added it to this book as well. Okay, this is really neat. I, I like to, I'm going to highlight this here. Um, this was pl plastic meshing that was around a wine bottle. And so I, I took it off, and I cut the end of it, and then I added a napkin. I used a spray adhesive to the, to the um, mesh. And this is actually the napkin. So I got this napkin, and then I put it around. And then I added some acrylic gold paint, and I just kind of made it and gave it that shimmer look. This ribbon here, those that's a ribbon that you get on your blouses that holds onto a hanger, and those drive me crazy. So I cut them off, and I'm using it here as a binding. And then this is a price tag. And then I think you can see right there, there's a stamp, and then I just colored it in. So the only piece that isn't recycled is this piece right here. So on the inside. These are actually, um, the board I used here for the sturdiness is, are those shirt boxes you get at Christmas, and sometimes they're torn open, so I save what I can, and then I shaped it to fit this little mini journal, and then that's actually paper bag. So this is almost 100% recycled. So different places to add more photos, so another little mini journal. And this is just a decorative page for you to hide that in, or tuck that in. Okay, here on this page, um, this right here is the top of a greeting card. My dad gave me all of those greeting cards he had since 1996, so I like that one and cut it out, and I like the way it had that um, circular design. And I just put some ribbon here. And then down here, this is a gift card holder. And then if you open it up, pull this out, this is one of those coasters, and I just painted it and then added these little charms to it so you can add some photos. And then just gave it an inside kind of layering with a stamp. Okay, here's another mini journal. And um, I have a bunch of stamps. And this one says, my friends have made the story of my life with some brads on it. And then I used that stamp there and I just colored it in. Used my sewing machine to, to bind it. And then the inside, you have different places to add more photos. This right here is, um, has a place more for writing versus laying photos on it. And then here in the back, just use this ribbon, reversed it, and put it the other way. So, kind of cool. On the back of this page it is a napkin. I just got different pieces and just layered it on top of each other. So, place to put that journal in. And then here we have some more price tags. I found two of them. Then I added these um, gems from that necklace. And then I added um, some little ribbon there. And then here's some more of of that necklace piece on here. And then you could probably see this the back of this page is actually some lace. And then I got some of the ink um, 
pads I had and I just put it over and gave it that look and then I added some glitter glue here on the edging so it could give it that look. I just love that glitter glue. I, as I mentioned in probably other videos, I just use that a lot. Here's another manila folder and this is a new embossed folder that I have and I just get crayons and I just color it in to just highlight some of that um, emboss design that's on there. And then the back of this is one of those Maggiano napkins. It really feels soft. And then these are paper coasters that you get at restaurants. And um, we're, I was in Albuquerque and my brother was there too for Christmas and I was saving those and he says, what do you do that for? And I said, I use those for my my junk journals. This one I just kind of colored it different ways. Put a photo on that. And just some different layering here. And here's a little different type of embellishment. It's a heart. And then this page, and it's, that's actually one of those price tags. And then I put this cloth cloth um, flower on it. So put around, put a picture there. And then here's some places to add what that memory is. This is a little trifold. Put pictures front and back. And then this right here um, is another pullout. But the neat thing about this right here, that predictions, that was from a book. And that was on the, on the binding. And I used the covers for another project. And then here's some more of that. Um, those gems from the necklace. So, And then this is an embossed piece. I colored it in. And then you just, I like to put them on the side. Just I don't want to take time putting everything back in. And then on this side is another folder. And it's more like a vellum fill. And then I added some ribbon to it. And then these are just junk pieces of tea paper that I found. And I just put different ways to add different memories. You could fold this out. You could see one of those cloth, I'm sorry, paper um, coasters I get. And right here it says love. That's an embossed piece. So just little tucks in this folder. And then of course I added ribbon here. And I think I have some ribbon on the inside. I do. So kind of a neat, a neat envelope. And then I found these pieces in different times and I thought, oh, I could do something with it. And then this is just one of my ribbons. So I made it a vase, look like a vase, and then just put those in just for something decorative. Okay, here, this is another pullout. This has a lot to it. This is a coaster, able to put it in. Those are the paper napkins I use to clean my brushes. And then that's an embossed piece, and I colored it. And then here are some more of those gems from the necklace on the other side. Here's a place to add some more photos. Here's some of those um, paper coasters that they give you. This one tore a little bit, but I still was able to glue it in. Here's a stamp, You Are My World. And this right here has some of that glitter glue on the middle of this cross. And then a place here to write. And there's a lot of layering on this page. Kind of cool. And then this is actually a gift bag. And it was torn, so I knew I could do something with it. And then, I don't know if you can see, but throughout this I added that glitter glue to give it some shine. Let me see if I could put a close-up on that. So those places that have, you can see the glitter glue just like it. And then I just reinforced it with another piece of scrap paper I had and added these flowers here. And then this is a coaster and I used some of those napkins um, to um, cover it. And then on this side um, those are just pieces of chipboard, junk mail, and I used another napkin and I just covered it with a napkin. And then right here you can see this is another on the back of this, this is another one of those paper coasters and then it folds over to this side, but I'll show you this page before I turn it over. So I used a sewing machine, used some of my flowers I had. Okay, and then here's the last page, and that's where you can see that paper coaster that I carried over here. And these are the cup cozies. You get those at um, Starbucks or wherever you get your coffee from, and they give you these um, cozy, co cozy holders, and I have tons of tons of those that people give me and save for me. So one book I'm just going to do, each page is going to have one of these cozies. And then here's some really fun ribbon on this one. And I usually shape the pullout to fit that. And then here's some more places to add some photos. And then in the back of that is another embossed piece. And I found this um, website and I went crazy. I think I have three books of um, embossed folders. And then here's just another place with a stamp to add something else. And then that's the last page. So I think I mentioned in a lot of my books that even though there might only be 
maybe five to nine signature pages. With all of the different mini folders that I put in and the pullouts, there's plenty of places to add photos. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.